When you came to be with us in London a few years ago, you did a wonderful event and led us through an exercise which had a really profound impact on me. For me, it brought to life that the way I might think about being kind and loving towards someone else and the way I might do that to myself were rather different. So I wondered if you maybe wanted to take us through that, Christian. First of all, you should know that if you found that you were much harsher with yourself than you are to people you care about, that's completely normal. My research shows that um, between 75 and 80% of people are significantly uh, kinder to others than they are to themselves. And so this can really, as you say, be the first step for thinking, you know, well, do I really want to treat myself this way? And then you can take two more action steps from this one imagine in your mind's eye what would be the impact on my close friend if I talk to them the way I talk to myself <laughs> and if the answer is probably not very good then a very simple way to access self-compassion is just to imagine what if I had a very close friend that I cared about or maybe a grandchild or some, someone else in your life that was going through the exact same situation I'm going through what would I say you know how might I say it and that's actually a template for you to, to try out for yourself. Try treating yourself the same way. But when I did this for the first time, I, I did discover, just as you said, that I did generally create a really caring, compassionate response to a loved one or a friend. But when it came to how I spoke to myself, it wasn't just that I was critical. It was that I was really rude. I used the F word. I was an effing idiot and an effing this and that. And I was quite shocked by that as a, you know, as a nice boy that doesn't normally speak that way. Mm -hmm. um, or at least that's how I think of myself. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I, I've, um, in fact, on reflecting on that, that realization, I have uh, developed a sort of a uh, little mantra almost that I use regularly now, where the F word has been rebranded for me as how I'd like to be in the world, friendly, useful, calm and kind. Um, so we never get myself now into, a, into a, a period of like, oh, are you effing this or even just getting frustrated. I try and remind myself that how I want to respond is in a friendly, useful, calm and kind way. And that has been both making me laugh, but also really helpful. So I'm grateful to you for waking me up to the fact that I had this narrative that I wasn't really aware of even.